Friends and loved ones are remembering an accomplished Dallas musician who died unexpectedly this weekend at the age of 45. He died after battling an undisclosed illness. Fox 4's David Fintendry spoke to those who knew him and loved him and joins us now. David. Well, Sean Martin had been ill for more than a year, but there was hope he would get better. A benefit concert has even been in the works. Sean Martin has more than a handful of Grammys, and tonight some people close to him are remembering him as one of Dallas's all-time greats. Who was Sean Martin to you? Sean was my best friend. Sean was like a brother to me. I grew up with Sean. I've never known life without Sean. Growing up, it wasn't just Sundays when Sam Nix and Sean Martin would go to Lighthouse Gospel Center in Oak Cliff. It was every day. This is where Sean learned how to play the piano, the organ, the tambourine. Martin became a Grammy Award-winning producer and pianist, earning widespread acclaim for his work with gospel singer Kirk Franklin and the North Texas Grammy-winning collective Snarky Puppy. Sean is not just talented, Sean's anointed. Martin, however, unexpectedly passed away on Saturday. The 45-year-old had been battling an undisclosed illness since April 2023. So very rarely did Sean do things where he didn't advocate for or support or bring people along with him. A star-studded concert to benefit Martin's road to recovery was planned for September. The show is still on, but now, instead of funds going to Sean's recovery, money is going to his wife and son. His mother and father raised him so that he was grateful enough to be humble. Vincent Hall serves on the praise team at Friendship West Baptist Church in the Redbird neighborhood of Dallas. Where Martin served as music director. He was young enough to be my son, but wise enough to be my mentor. That's something that like you can't learn, that's just God given? It's God given, you can't learn that. Martin toured across the world, but whenever he returned home, you could feel that home energy from crowds. Like at this concert at Dallas's Granada Theater in 2022. So he was the ambassador for Dallas music in a way that nobody else has ever been, and I don't know if anybody will be for a long time. Sean was always trying to make sure that everybody understood the talent in Dallas. But while Martin went to great lengths to highlight Dallas musicians, he stood in a spotlight of his own. Something that never surprised his best friend. He just wanted to have an impact. So the distractions of life he never allowed to get him off course, which is what propelled him to such greatness. The benefit concert for Martin's family will be held September 14th at the Black Academy of Arts and Letters. It'll feature artists like Eric Badu, Nora Jones, and a whole lot more. Steve, Heather. Yeah, and David, you actually had the opportunity to interview Sean Martin. Yeah, this was 10 years ago yeah. in Charlotte, North Carolina. I was at a previous station and I actually took a photo of him holding my microphone. He was just talking to me about Dallas, Texas and how growing up he watched the news all the time and wanted to be an anchor or report mm -hmm. reporter. He joked about that and I think the photo just kind of shows his joyful sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Certainly a musician in this area who many people will miss.